Shalom, shalom, daughters of Zion. So what I have now is my pattern. It's already pinned. Like I said, I have a, um, a previously uploaded video on showing you how to pin your fabric. This is already pinned and it must be pinned inside out. So you should be able to see. Well, this is a three three layers, a three layered, the three layered skirt. So that's why I was showing you this. This is the inside of the seam, one of the seams. So once you have your pattern cut out and pinned inside out, you just come over here, turn on your light and you start sewing. I usually keep my pattern at the edge at the edge of the sewing machine you put your presser foot down and then you start going make sure your thread tension dial is on four I just picked a straight uh, a straight stitch I didn't do the zigzag or anything like that my straight stitch is number six, so you just make sure that's on six, and you start sewing. So once you go maybe about, um, I wanna say a half an inch, you wanna do your thread tension dial, you wanna move it back to nine, then you wanna hold your back stitch lever down, and you just want to go back up. It'll take you backwards over top of the same section that you just see it. So this just locks it in. It makes uh, the thread pretty tight, locks it in so it's more durable so your skirt will last longer. Then you go back up here and change it back to four. And then you start sewing again. stuck a little bit sometimes when you're at the edge of your seams it could possibly get jammed so you just want to lift your presser foot up adjust it a little bit and hopefully it comes unjammed I had a um, situation where it got jammed so bad I had to take my um, pattern out I had to um, use my seam ripper which looks like this a seam ripper I had to use a seam ripper to actually take the thread out and start all over. Because sometimes, like I said, it will get jammed. So, just be careful. This is what you do. You just keep going. Pretty simple. And as you're going, you want to take your pins out as you're sewing. And you're not actually pulling it through the sewing machine. It's actually going to just glide through there by itself. You just direct it. Before, you're just basically guiding it you're not pulling it through it's gonna pull itself through you just guide it Once you get down 
down to the bottom. You change your thread tension down to nine again. You do your back stitch back. And you just come up a little ways to back stitch. I actually go over it again. And then you lift your presser foot up. You take your pattern and you should have um, a little thing over here to cut your thread off. And after you cut your thread off, you want to pull your thread out a little ways. I usually pull it out maybe uh, two or three inches because when you start to sew your needle, uh, once you start hit your lever, your foot pedal, and it starts to sew, it will actually, this thread will actually jump back. So it might jump back and so you want it to be longer so it doesn't jump out of the needle so it doesn't unthread the needle or um, your bobbin thread. You don't want your bobbin thread to uh, jump back and then it possibly wouldn't, you know, connect properly with the upper, the upper thread. So that's one side. And you just repeat that on the other side. What I do is I always use scissors. I trim the, the thread off, the excess thread. Okay. So we're done with that. And so that's how you do um, sew your skirt pattern together. You want to um, actually uh, flip your skirt around, do the other side. And I'll be right back with you guys. I'm going to flip mine over and do my other side. I'll be right back with you guys. Shalom, shalom.